Kim with Sea Daisy Creations. Welcome to my channel, everybody, and welcome back. It's good to see y'all again. I hope everybody's doing well and you had a beautiful Thanksgiving. Well, today I'm here to do a small little video um, decorating some dough bowls. I thought that would be fun for the holidays and for Christmas to decorate some dough bowls. Uh, they are very popular in decorating, and we I have, um, I actually have three of them. So I'm gonna be styling all three of those in different ways uh, for the holidays. Um, and I hope you'll come along with me as I do this decorating. So I'm filming this intro separately from the actual video. Um, I was intending on getting this video out earlier and I missed my time frame on it. So um, I'm bringing this to you today on my channel. So enjoy my holiday dough bowl decorating. And I'll be back with you in a minute and we'll do that decorating with the dough bowls. Bye. All right, well, here we are with the dough bowl sitting on the ground here on my carpet. Um, it's a little bit wobbly. Um, so doing it up here on the couch, um, sometimes it, it wobbles too much um, because it is kind of, you know, curved on the bottom and it's curved here too. So it's, I mean, it's kind of flattish in the middle but you really have to use something to raise things sometimes to where everything will look nice on here. So I'm gonna do that with a piece of wood. Um, I'll just use this like in the middle or if I wanted my piece over here on the side, I could do that. Um, but the way I'm working this one, um, I think I want it in the middle. And, okay, the dough bowl by itself and you set things on it, I mean, without this, looks okay, but it really is better when you add some kind of a base um, for the season. So I picked up some of this, it's called Snowflakes. Um, it actually is like, it's like that oh, stuffing you put in, um, like if you make something. But I'm gonna put this snowflake stuff all over here. And I think you just drop it down like this and it looks like snow. It's supposed to look like snow. I think you can bake it as small or as big as you want it to be. I'm hoping that this one package of stuff that I bought is going to be enough. So let's get this on here real quick. It'll give us that impression of snow. <laughs> Hopefully, even though it looks like stuffing, doesn't it? But we'll try it. see what we can do with it. I contemplated on getting, because I did run to Hobby Lobby today, because um, I wanted some kind of a base for this project. And they have the other stuff that's kind of iridescent and it's more like plastic stuff. Um, and it makes a mess. This, you can get, it's a little more contained, you know? You can actually um, probably pick it up a bunch easier. And I can probably break this up a lot smaller. Um, Cause it does look like stuffing right now, but hopefully we can make it look a little more like snow. <laughs> Cause that's the thing it's supposed to look like. Well, that's too much. So anyways, we'll try to make it look like snow. Yeah, you know, just make it look like it's got a blanket of snow on it. So something like that, maybe. I'm gonna use all of it. Why not? Okay, so there, that's supposed to look like snow. Let's just kind of pretend it looks that way. <laughs> you get the gist. So that's supposed to look like snow. So first things, I'm gonna put this here. Um, this is a house, <laughs> obviously it's red house. Um, you saw me work with one of these on my tray design the other day. 
Um, this was from Walmart. Um, they had them, and I think I bought a couple of them because I have a couple of these uh, houses. And I have one that's actually a kind of a white one too that my daughter gave me. Um, but these, they actually, they have a this you can twist off and, and put a candle in it. I'm sure if you wanted to, too, you could stick like fairy lights inside there and make it look shine, and that would be fun, too. So I'm going to set this right in the middle. Try to hide it a little bit with my snow. You know, the wood. And maybe I should have got two bags of this snow stuff. Okay, so I'm going to set that there, and then I'm going to bring in a tree. This is a tree. The tree actually is from Hobby Lobby, um, but they don't sell this size now. Um, I've had these for a couple of years and they don't have this particular size. It's got just, you know, like kind of a burlap sack. Um, but I did put them in this little bucket. These buckets um, have a, tr a truck with a tree on them. They've, I, they've had those buckets a couple of years back. Well, actually, I'm going to try to get it in here, so I'm going to move this open so I can set this in here. And then we'll bring, try to bring that back in around it. And I've got another tree. I'm going to stick it over here on this side. I'm going to do the same thing. I have to move out my snow so I can set it down. Hide that wood and stuff. So that's how it's looking so far. Can you see very good? So that in itself is super cute. Um, just with the snow and the trees um, and the house. Just looks like a little house or cabin in the woods with snow going down. Um, but I'm going to add this deer to these were at Hobby Lobby as well, and I'm just going to try and nestle it back here um, in the back if I can get it to stand. It's kind of hitting the, there. There. It's going to have it kind of peek out there from um, beside the tree. It's got a little scarf on. Of course, he's bigger than the house, and that's not <laughs> that's not usually how things are. But in decorating, you know, they don't always have the size you want. And then, I think I just would like to put on a couple of pine cones to add a little more. You know, if I can get it to stay. There's our snow. there. And that is how this dough ball, I think, dough bowl is going to look. The snow looks cute. I mean, it does, I mean, I don't know. Now that I've got everything on here, it kind of looks cute. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but I think it looks adorable, don't you? Do you find that that's a cute look? Let me get this straight on to you. Isn't that cute? I love how that came out. Whoops. That's the problem. See, this is kind of tilty. Um, that's one thing about this particular dough bowl, why I kind of don't particularly like it all that much. Um, and like I said, I do have trouble, you know, doing, you know, decorating it. But I think <laughs> I'm really happy with this. It came out so cute. Don't you think with the, the deer and everything in there, you've got your pop of red against the snow and, a green, and the green from the from the trees, you got your pops of black and white, you know. I think it came out super cute. The only thing we need is like smoke coming out of this chimney. <laughs> It'd be just like you're in the woods. Well, I hope you like this. This is my first style for a dough bowl. Um, the other ones are coming up next and you'll see what I did with those. Anyways, thank you guys. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so for our next dough bowl, I'm using a long, skinny one. I picked this up probably not too terribly long ago, actually, at TJ Maxx. Um, in fact, well, I was at TJ Maxx yesterday 
with my daughter. We were looking for a dress. She's going to, um, she's working now. Did I tell you that? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, she's working now and has um, a job, kind of an internship. And so they're having a Christmas party, um, actually tonight. Um, but anyways, here's this new bowl. Um, it's long and skinny. Um, this one I find a little bit more versatile on how you can decorate it. And I had a little idea on how I wanted this one to look too. So we'll get busy and decorate this one now. Hang on. Um, and what I want to do is like set it over here on the side. Um, you know, and then I've got some more pieces that I want to put over on this other side. So we're going to do that. Well, actually, let's put this one here because it's got the pine cones in it. And let's put this other one over, under it like this. Maybe. Somehow so you don't see all the, all the, you know, stems and such. Okay, and I'm going to use these deer. Um, that I bought. I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. Um, I've got deer, you know, in my other room. Over in the family room, I have deer. And I thought, you know, this might look nice with the deer. I've, obviously, my first dough bowl had a deer in it too, but it was different kind of deer. <laughs> so I'm kind of working with deer this time. Um, anyways, these black deer are made of resin. Um, the ones I have in my other room that are on my mantle and on my coffee table are actually like some kind of iron or something, or they're heavy like metal. Okay, I'm gonna try to nestle this in here so it will stand up. So let's see how um, easy that might be to do. <laughs> or maybe it'd be better if I stand the deer in there and then try to nestle this around it. What do you think? <laughs> no, I think we're gonna have to like bend it a little and have him stand like either side of it, like that so that the greenery's around him. Let's see if I can do this without taking a really long time. You get the idea. I just want to get him in here amongst the greenery. Oh. So these stands. Okay. So there's a little on that end. Well, <laughs> I'm going to nestle him in there somehow. Okay. Maybe if I hold it up and get him in between the branches, then I can set him down. <laughs> there. Maybe that's better. There. Okay, so he's got some greenery. It's kind of sticking up and such, but I think they look okay. Okay, stand up there, Mr. Deer. Uh-oh, this is not one to work. There, okay, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Okay, there's the deer. Of course, the greenery could be positioned a little bit better, but, and then I have another deer. This one's laying down um, that I'm gonna use. And this one, I'm just gonna lay on here because it's laying down. So I've got one on each side. I don't wanna touch that one. I think Freddie's gonna fall. Um, and my, I, the, like the first thing I could do is just like set a tree in there like that. And then just fill it in with some pine cones. Um, and let it just be kind of a woodland thing. Um, with all the, you know, the deer on here and the tree and everything and, you could take this tree and really, you know, spread it out and such and make it feel like you're kind of in the woods or whatever. And you've got your, um, your, all your pine cones and everything. Now, obviously, um, as we did in our other dough bowl, we could definitely do snow on here too. And just have the deer be in snow and use a snowy tree. Um, that would be super cute. But the other idea I had, um, and of course the snow, we, we used that the last time. But right now, uh, I think too, for another look on this, is just to add, and let me turn on something. Is to add like a little lantern right here in the middle. 
and then put your pine cones in to kind of fill in the space with all the greenery and stuff so you don't have any like leftover space and then maybe another one there and that's a very pretty look too don't you think i mean well i don't know if i pick this up i'm afraid my deer rod break but that's how it would look so i i love that too it's just very simple um just a simple look but it looks really nice i think together and you get the glow of this so this will be perfect you know to on a coffee table or something um and I like it, and like I said, you could always just use a tree or whatever else with um, your deer. But anyways, that was my look for that one. Um, I guess I could take pictures of this stuff <laughs> as I'm doing this, but I'm not. I can do that later. Anyway, so that was Doble number two. Um, I'm going to just lift it up and get it out of the way so we can work on number three. Okay. Hold on a second, and I'll be right back. All right, so my last dough bowl that I'm going to use is this one. Um, this is one I just picked up because um, I was looking at um, Hobby Lobby for dough bowls and just couldn't find any. So uh, I found this one, and it does say, give us our daily bread. It's got little feet on the bottom, so it will, won't mar up your table. Um, but yes, it says, give us each day or daily bread, and then it has this um, little design on here. And I think it's really meant for maybe on your table to maybe throw a towel over this and have your warmed bread sitting on it or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna use it that way, Bo. I'm gonna use it, I mean, this is something you could use all the time. Um, but I'm gonna use it today for another design. And I hope you're liking the ones I've come up with so far. Um, they're very simple, but they I think they look cute together, you know, cute in, in and of themselves. Um, when you have them sitting somewhere. All right, so this one, I have a couple of looks for this. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started on that. So dough bowl number three. Um, again, we could do something with deer. <laughs> um, I love the deer and a very simple, simple look would be to use two of these trees. I've got a set of three of these trees. It's a set, two of these trees here. And set a deer here and a deer here and basically just throw some pine cones in there and you're you're done with your your um, design very simple very simple now obviously you could add some greenery in here to, to you know to maybe bump it up a notch you know, with the deer and, you know, fill in, it fills it in just a little bit more. Um, obviously you could put snow in here underneath these deer. Um, anything like that would be super cute. Like this, I, you know, I would put this in my living room cause I have the other deer that I'm using in the living room or the di uh, family room, excuse me, family room. Um, but you know, this is cute. It's simple, but cute. And it has all these elements in it. And, you know, I, I like it this way. I'm probably going to keep it this way in my family room. Maybe not with this. I've been using things a little bit less, you know. I haven't been doing a whole lot of um, getting it. You know, it's more minimal in my house this year for Christmas. And I'm enjoying it that way. But anyway, so there, you know, you just have your deer and a few pine cones. And it's good. And now another... Obviously, the snow would make it look different, and we could, you know, I can put that out. Obviously, let's try that. Let's try some snow, because right, it'll change the look of the whole situation. And we could stick our deer in here in the snow, because <laughs> that'll change how it looks. And you can have one sitting over here. And then you can still like throw in a couple pine cones. It 
and that looks good too. And also, like I talked about before, you can put some like small gold or silver baubles in there or balls or something just to bring in a little of the Christmas spirit. But this is um, also very cute with the snow in there. So that's an idea for this dough bowl. And I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's a good size because you can put different things on it. it could, you could easily just do something like this with the trees. Take out the pine cones right now for a minute. Take out the snow. Um, put this back in the bag real quick. Or, and just have, you know, a lantern sitting in here amongst your trees with some pine cones. And it's just a very, almost just, a, you know, something you could do in the, just for winter, you know? And that looks super cute, too. So uh, this tray, I think I'm almost liking the best out of all three I have because it's just small enough. To, you can put things in it, and it turns out, you know, super cute. My last idea with this is I've got this small manger um, that, where did I get this at? It was $9.98. Oh, at Walmart. They had these little mangers, and that would be nice to sit in there. And with that, um, since you want to emulate the manger, I've got some, uh, like, moss. It's just brown moss that you could stick all over this to be your, like, manger hay feel, you know, you could put that all over in here and then set this on top. And that would be a super cute look too. So I think all three of the things you can do with this are cute. I like it with the deer, with just the deer and the pine cones, very simple look. I liked the deer with the snow. That looked cute too. Um, I like this look quite a bit because um, I want to have this out and about in my family room. So basically, you could just, you know, like I said, take your mossy stuff and put it along in here and set this in there, and that would be enough. You know, you wouldn't have to do anything else because this is Jesus is the reason for the season. So, anyways, I hope these gave you a, cute, a few ideas on how you can decorate trays. And like I said, I have three of them, and that big one is my, <laughs> my, my struggle. Um, these other ones, they're a little bit easier to decorate. This one's a little wider than, of course, my skinny one I was just working on. Um, plus, this is more concaved, and it makes it harder to set things on. So when looking for a dobo, you might want to look for something with a flat bottom, if you can find it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed these um, little um, vignettes I've put together on all these different um, dobos. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And to all my regular subscribers, thank you for watching me all the time. And I love you to pieces. You know that. And to anyone who's watching me for the first time, welcome. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all. Bye.